what is good everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel here at The Dad Life. My name is Raf. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. As you guys can see from the title below, yes, it is true. SneakerCon denied my Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. And come to find out that the Travis Scott 1s that I purchased on vacation were fake. But before we actually get into that, I do have an unboxing. I'm gonna save this unboxing at the end of the video because it'll make sense why I'm gonna um, unbox this at the end of this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned with that. But before I actually even continue with the story, I want to show you a clip of my reaction getting these Air Jordan 1 Travis Scotts on my vacation. So let's go ahead and get into that video. Let me tell you guys something. I am so freaking hyped. I'm sorry if I look ugly. I don't give a crap, but I am so hyped right now because you guys seen it. You guys seen it here that I copped. <laughs> you guys already know by seeing this box, guys. Yo, I copped the Travis Scott ones. It's unfortunate because the box is low key beat up, but I don't give a crap, people. Like, his price was at least a decent price and no like i don't care this shoe resale price is gonna go up like crazy but your boy is gonna wear these travis scott ones um like i said i'm gonna bring these to sneaker con i wanted to wear them to sneaker con but first i want to get them legit checked just in case you guys always need to check um get your sneakers legit checked no matter what um he said um i could get them legit checked and then if they end up being fake for some reason i could bring it back and get a full refund he was super super cool about the situation and i didn't want to disrespect him and whatnot when it came to you know wanting to get them legit checked because um he was like yo it's a 14 1500 dollars sneaker you're paying for and you know i would want to get them legit checked too and like i said they do legit checks as well but I mean, if I want to get that extra verification on the sneaker um, to make sure they're 100% authentic, he said, go for it. Um, but like I said, I really wanted to wear these to sneaker con tomorrow, but I think I'm going to wait, right? Yeah. Let's wait um, and see what happens. But if they are 100% legit people, I'm wearing these every day. Not my dream shoes, not a grail, but it was a sneaker that I really, really wanted. And... Like I said, I'm not going to try to film too much because I'm in downtown right now. And this guy is like looking at me saying, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to put these back in the box and then just head back home and then give you guys a little bit more of a review on the sneaker. But like I said, Travis got ones, people. Man, I am pretty hyped about it. But like I said, let's head back. So there you guys go. That was pretty much my reaction of getting the Air Jordan Travis Scott ones like I was super, super hyped about it. So before I actually even continue with the story, I just want to let you guys know this is an, pretty much an educational video. I just want to educate you guys to make sure you guys know your reels and your fakes. This is not a video to bash anyone's business or company. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to answer any of the questions that you guys ask where I got the fakes from. In my mind, obviously, I thought they were real just because the resources they had and whatnot and receipts and whatnot so at the end of the day if you guys were wondering i did get my money back and the deal was pretty much like when i got the sneaker i let them know like hey i'm going to sneaker con tomorrow or sneaker con bay area and is that okay i get these uh legit check just to make sure you know not to bash anyone's business like i said and they were okay with it and as long as i didn't wear them at all so I'm pretty happy the route that I took was a smart way to take because I could have just trusted the resource that they were 100% legit or if you guys were wondering how much I paid for that sneaker I paid $13.95 so I honestly thought it was probably one of the best deals when it comes to my size when for the Travis Scott ones because they go for like $1,500 so like I said I took them to sneaker con and like within like 20 seconds at the legit booth like they they said yeah these were not these are not legit they're not good so it did not pass i was like literally freaking out the whole time when i was at sneaker con sneaker con is 100 percent legit when it comes to the legit booth and i honestly trusted that more than the resource where i got the sneaker from so at the end of the day i just want to let you guys know be educated when it comes to your reels and fakes honestly i wasn't prepared for it and like i said that's not my intentions because 
at the end of the day, I'm gonna purchase a sneaker from a you know 100% legit resource, and I thought that was a 100% uh, resource, uh, legit source, and it wasn't when it came to the sneaker. So, at the end of the day, I am pretty happy where I stand when it came to the sneaker. You know, a lot of these things happen to us, you know, many times in the sneaker community. So at the end of the day, like I said, guys, stay educated because the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's are like probably the number one hype shoe today that are like stupid crazy, like stupid close when it comes to the fakes. I got my money back. I'm pretty happy that I got my money back, but I was really bummed that I didn't walk out with any, any Travis Scott 1. So as you guys can see, I have a box that I haven't unboxed yet. You guys probably know at the end of the day what this is, so let's go ahead and go straight into it. If you guys are wondering where I got the sneaker from, I ended up getting these at StockX. So you guys are probably like, oh, StockX sells fakes, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you know, like I said, I'm gonna, you know, trust my resource and whatnot. And you know, the whole rumors about StockX, you know, selling fakes, I'm pretty sure that has passed and they are more than educated at this point when it comes to this sneaker in general. So let's go ahead and go straight into it. So Air Jordan 1 Highs OG TSSP um, size 8. Oh my goodness, man. I'm I am so hyped for this sneaker, you guys. I was so happy at the beginning, but now that I got the real pair in my hand, you get, just to let you guys know, I am very educated when it comes to the Air Jordan Travis Scotts now. I just wanna let you guys know, do not trust pictures. I honestly, pick, I don't think pictures is enough to know whether if a sneaker is fake. Honestly, you have to see this sneaker in hand. Like, there's no way that I could tell in pictures. As you guys can see, some tissue paper, and boom the travis scott ones but first thing is first like i said the hang tag right here let's go ahead and just check these out these look good already um so as you guys can see right here they give you the car stock x sticker right here about fifteen hundred dollars that's how much i got from stock x for a size eight so just looking at them um oh yeah so the smell does matter because um, when I smelled the other sneaker, it did not have that Jordan 1 smell, but this, like this definitely has the Jordan 1 smell, man. If you guys want me to educate you guys about a little bit about how to tell um, whether uh, Travis Scott 1 is um, are fake or not, let me know in the comment section or just smash that like button. Um, just by looking at it, I'm definitely just looking at the tag and the tongue. I think that is one giveaway. Um, but definitely this is this is definitely a hundred percent legit uh, Make sure you guys look at that stitching man I'm not gonna go into depth of showing you guys right now But if you guys want me to do a separate video with that let me know in the comment section below So there you guys have it the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. I finally got these in the collection um, I know I said that weird, but whatever as you guys already know the Travis Scott one lows just released recently I was not really a big fan of that sneaker. So that's why I end up pass I did try on sneakers app, but I end up taking an L but like I said man the the highs are a lot way more um, Better than the lows in my opinion the price is rising in my opinion if you are wanting to grab the Travis Scott ones, I'll, I honestly recommend to get them now. That's the reason why I had to get these right away because if you guys end up waiting like another year, I honestly think these prices will definitely go up. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you guys are wondering as well, I do have a giveaway on my channel starting on August 1st. There's no details or information out yet. It will be out on August 1st, so stay tuned on my channel. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video and leave a comment to whether if you guys have a Travis Scott 1 or did you cop the Travis Scott 1 lows, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, this is the Dad Life signing in, signing out. Peace.